Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how you can change the default font of your text across your whole activity without having to set individual uh, in, set the views individually. Now to do this we need to set up a new class but what I've done first is uh, set up a, a little layout with uh, some sample text and I've also already added uh, an assets folder and um, I've pasted a font file in it. But if you're unsure how to do this then you can check out uh, the video I created uh, prior to this one uh, video number 18. Uh, just one thing before, before I carry on uh, the font change won't display in your emulator when you when you run your emulator you won't see the change but it will show up on a real device now this is this is to do with the uh, font file being on the SD simulated on the uh, SD in the, in the emulator but don't, don't worry about that it will show up on a real device so um, I have to video my device so I can show you show you in action so let's, let's create a, a new class so we right oh. so we open up our Java file and under here if we this is where our main activity is so if we right click on here and we want to create a new class and we'll call this uh, we'll call it replace font and there's our new class so inside here we want to set up a public static void method which we're going to call replace default font and inside this we're going to accept context which is we call context and we need to import that so just alt and enter and it's imported it up here a comma a string it's going to accept a string which we're going to call um, the name of font being replaced just to just for clarity so that's going to be our default font and then comma it's going to also accept another string which is going to be the name of our of our file of, of this of our file of our font file so name of font in asset and we we'll put our curly brackets in Okay, so we're going to create a typeface object, and we're going to call it. Um, oh, we'll, we'll import that, and we're going to call this uh, custom font typeface equals typeface. There it is, and we're going to dot, and we're going to create from asset. We want this one here. Create from asset, and accepts two arguments and um, it's going to be first one is going to be a uh, context I'm just going to get assets a comma and a name of the font in asset that one there it's going to be the name of our font that we're going to use okay so we're semicolon that and now I'm going to call another method and which um, I haven't created yet but I'm going to start I'm going to call it replace font and I'm going to pass in the name of our font being replaced which is our default default font and the name of the font we're going to use which is this one here was well, it's the name of the object the typeface object okay now so now it's complaining saying that um uh, let's put a semicolon into that, and it's complaining because this this our method doesn't exist. So we we'll, we we'll create that method just below here, and it's automatically uh, set these up, which we use. We use those. Okay. So I'm going to create a field now, and it's going to want to import that, and I'm going to call it. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, there's a a, cho a choice here. You want this one here. You want that on there this one okay so I'm going to create a field called my field and equals oh, equals typeface 
dot class dot get declared field and that's going to be the name of the font being replaced and semicolon that okay now it's, it's complaining here and um, because it's uh, an unhandled exception so what we need to do is we need to surround that with a try catch statement and then we underneath that we type my field dot set accessible this one here and we'll set that to true and then my field again dot set and that needs to be so it's asking for an object an object value the first one is going to be null and the second one is going to be our custom font typeface and it's complaining again now of, of another unhandled exception and we just want to uh, add a catch add a catch clause so there's two catch clauses now so I'll just I'll just um, tidy that up a bit so you can see it okay so that's our class set up now all we need to do now is go to our main activity and under our on create under our set content view we need to call that call what we just created so go replace replace fonts name of our class dot replace default fonts which is the name of our method and it's asking remember we set up these three so the first one's the context which is going to be this the second one was the name of our fault our font being replaced and the name of the font is called default all in capitals that's what we're going to be replacing and comma and we're going to replace it with this file here which needs to be in quotes as well and uh, you include the file extension as well so horror dot TTF and it needs to be uh, it's case sensitive as well so if you put in TTF that won't work it has to be exactly so TTF and that's it so if we we're going to run this and I'm going to run it on my device and there's the font changed so obviously you need to check make sure the, um, the, the all the layouts uh, align okay because it's not going to be depending on, on your font it's not going to be exactly the same and it and it, it um, affects everything so even if we go to the settings menu everything's been changed the whole every single view is, uh, has been changed so that's how you change the default font and uh, I hope you liked the video and thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing guys